All right. So I'm going to show you how to uh, create something similar to the Angry Birds here that I've done. And what I'm going to do is file new. So I'm always showing this step because a lot of you are still kind of like beginners and don't really uh, remember. So the best way is you click on print and then you go, well, eight and a half by 11 is a standard size sheet. So then we want it in landscape format. So it's 11 by 8.5. Okay. Why? Because your goal is to have three different models. Okay. Now you're going to grab your pen and, you know, I would, I would like you to get in the habit of using your pen most of the time. And that's the, the point is, is because you're trying to learn how to use this. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go and get black and the, the hot key is click D. Did you see guys see what happened down here? When I click the D key, I'll just click over here. So I, let's pretend I'm using this color. Obviously, I don't want to draw my, you know, you, you could, but, you know, let's just keep it like black because it makes more sense. It's more like, so I'm going to start with a square. All right. So I did it all in one shot because I'm getting a little bit more the hang of things. I need you to pay attention over there, please. Okay. So I don't want you starting right away. And another thing that you can do is command plus and press the space bar. And you see, once I press the space bar, then I use my pen to move over. Why am I doing that? Well, to be a little bit more zoomed in. Okay, and command minus is your zoom out. Uh, and maybe I want to zoom in even a little bit more. I found the navigator tool to be kind of, yeah, it's okay. But, and I'm going to shrink my, my, my brush. It's a little too big. So I'm going to do like the square eyes for this dude. And then, okay, so I'm going to do all this in one drawing. And I got it be aware of the proportions and command Z is your friend remember I said that and again what I should be doing here is looking at the reference images if I got a reference image off the web and I'm not using you could use different shapes than the ones I gave you or different you have to use the shapes with different exemplars so what what you should do is I'm going to go over here I'm going to go back to and I'm actually drawing this one here so, you know, go and look at it. You don't have to do it exactly like it. Like you're being creative too, right? But that the point is, is it's, it's a reference. And I looked at his beak and it's kind of like this. And, you know, I'm going to just draw it like this. You know, I could play around with this. And it's, this one's a little different than the one I did this morning. And boom. And I stopped there. And I'm getting the hang of the tablet, okay? And I'm really like... I, I remember my reference image and had this in here. I went a little bit over. I can use the E key. Okay, there's my eraser. And I'm going to shrink. My, I'll press the E key. And then I'm going to press the bracket to shrink it. Okay. And let's just go here. And oops. I'll command Z. If I go with the E key, it'll probably. If ever it's not letting me, I'll just shrink it over here. All right. And click over here. And press the E key. Right, command Z, Z, command Alt Z. I've been doing that. Bizarre. Okay. Um, maybe I'll go back to the brush. Okay. Well, anyways, erase. Maybe I, the hotkey is not working so well, so I could just click on the eraser tool uh, right here. All right, and I wanted to erase this thing here. That's fine. Then I'm going to press. I think it's brush to go back to the brush tool. B, B key. So it's really good to learn your hotkeys. Okay. So E for the eraser tool, B for the hot, for the uh, brush tool. Now I, I want to pick colors. I could use the same colors this morning. Click over here. And then I'm going to click the, if click over here, this is pay attention guys, please. I don't want to have to explain this three times. So there's a good chance. This is the default. So change it to the bucket tool. Once you've changed it to the bucket tool, tool the the key you need is g so so i'm going to go and press red and then i want to go well here it does it automatically i'm going to go pick this color the beak and then i just click here if not i could use the g key i'm going to make these i don't know i could you could just do whatever right you're you're i'll go green boom i'll make them all green it's a bird i eh? suppose have a lot of color it doesn't have to look exactly like the angry bird one I'm going to give them blue eyes and maybe black eyebrows. And what was the default key again? D. 
So it's, set, so it's a little bit quicker. So there's my first bird. Now I would probably, and this is something I forgot to say, and I'm going to tell you to do it. It's probably better if you have everything on a transparent background. So I'm going to go Command minus, and I'm going to delete the white background. So I use the magic wand tool, which I have not taught you, but basically the magic wand tool, what it does, it selects all of one color or tries to, and then I'm going to click delete. And actually, before I do that, I have to unlock the layer. So double click this, turn it into a layer. If you don't do this, it won't work. Okay, it'll do some weird thing where everything changes, uses these colors. So press delete. Why is that a good idea? Because if I was going to use this after to bring it into, you know, some type of animation or something. Whoops. Uh, I'm going to just redo that by accident. Step. Uh, oh, I'll just redo it again. It takes two seconds. Delete. So how do I turn, and you see these little uh, moving pixels here? That's called marching ants. So that's my selection tool. To turn them off, it's Command D, okay? Because if you leave them on, you can't do anything. So you have to turn them off, all right? So you're going to draw your characters on a transparent layer. If you could put everything on one layer or separate. I think I'm going to just keep it all on one for now. I'm going to go Command minus. Uh, I'm going to just quickly do one more just so you get a sense. You have to do the three shapes. So square, circle, and what's the hotkey? It's B for brush. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle this time. I'm pretty happy with that. No, not happy. Command Z. Pretty good. Okay. Let's, let's go with that. I forgot to give him legs. I'm going to give him legs. Why not? You, you don't have to give him legs, but I'll leave it. I'll, again, you're allowed to customize these. These are pretty awful legs, actually. I would work on these more. So I'm going to, again, I could use different a different look. I'm not going to give this one any eyebrows just for fun. I'm going to give him a big beak like this. And maybe I'll give him kind of like a fro, fro bird. Well, are you recording? Yes. All right. So then, uh, what color? Uh, let's go like pink. Why not? And then what's the hotkey? It's uh, G. Okay. And you, you know what happened here? This is great error to happen. I'm happy it happened. Because one of the things I didn't do is I didn't close this off properly. So you're going to have to go Command Plus. And again, what's the uh, hotkey? It's the space bar. And I just move it. And what I'm going to notice, uh, see, I did not close this off properly. So what I'm going to do is click the B key. Go back to the brush. I'm going to use the bracket tool to shrink it. Oh, I'm the wrong, Command Z. I'm going to click the D key. So I'm going to close that off. Okay. And, and. And then actually, space bar, move, and I'm going to close this off too. Now, you should probably, like, take a little more time than me here. I'm going to go get this pink again. I'm going to click. What? Seriously? Okay. So, there you go. Command Z. Or, do it again. Command minus. And, I don't know. Let's give him, like, what kind of, what color should his robe be? It's a bird, so nose. I'll go D for the black. And I'm going to make this white. So got white eyes and a yellow beak. So there you go. Okay, so that's in create a, a triangle as well. So use those. Be creative. I want two of these and probably by the end of the period is what we're aiming for. Now tomorrow um, We'll see how it goes. Maybe you'll need a little more time. And I'm going to go around and help you.